Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Museum Mornings. This is the third of our Passover themed Museum Mornings that all fall in the middle of the brilliant festival of Passover. My name is Emma and I am the Engagement Officer at the Jewish Museum London and I would like to start today's activity by showing you an object from our collection that is used during this festival. You can see the object that I've chosen on your screens now. I wonder if you can guess what this object is. Hmm. Maybe you used something like this when you were celebrating Passover recently. It's something you might have used at a Seder meal. I can tell you it is a book. It's a special type of book used during the Seder meal. It is a Haggadah. A Haggadah tells us the order of the Seder meal. This one is one of the oldest of all the different Haggadot that we have in our collection. Have a guess, how old do you think this might be? Share your answers with the people you are watching with or with me in the comments section. How old might this Haggadah be? Mm. I wonder if you guessed 50 years old, maybe 100, maybe 200, 300, well, I can tell you that this is very nearly 300 years old. It's about 260 years old. It was made in Germany and it is written in both um, German and also in Hebrew. It is beautifully decorated with really bright colours. And the reason I wanted to share it with you today is because if we look through this, there is a beautiful picture I wanted to share. It is the picture right at the bottom of this page of the Haggadah. Shall we have a closer look? Here it is. This is showing a scene from the Passover story. I wonder if you recognize what is happening in this picture, or if you don't recognize, maybe you want to have a guess. What do you think is happening in this picture? I can tell you, this is a picture that comes right at the end of the Passover story. It is after the Israelites have crossed the Red Sea, after they have escaped from Egypt um, and escaped from slavery. Moses lifted up his staff and the Red Sea parted. The Israelites, who are over on the right hand side, were able to cross safely. However, when the Egyptians tried to follow them, to capture them and force them to return to being slaves in Egypt, the waters came back and covered them. We can see there are horses and there are riders amongst the waves. There is one person in particular who my eye is drawn to in this yellow dress holding something up in her hands. I wonder if you know who this woman is. A very important woman in the Passover story. It is Miriam. Miriam is one of the female prophets from the Tanakh. She is the sister of Moses and Aaron and she's a really important person in the Passover story. This month uh, is Women's History Month and across the museum we are celebrating the role of strong, brave and powerful women and Miriam was certainly strong, brave and powerful. She is holding something in her hand. Hmm, what does it look like? What could it be? Hmm. It is actually a musical instrument. It's something called a timbrel. A timbrel is a bit like a tambourine that we might have today. It is mentioned in the Torah that Miriam um, plays the timbrel to celebrate when the Jewish people uh, cross the Red Sea. It says, then Miriam the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand and all the women followed her with timbrels and dancing. You can see the women behind her. It goes on. Miriam sang to them, sing to the Lord for he is highly exalted. Both horse and driver he has hurled into the sea. 
and we can see the horses and their riders in the sea in this picture. There are many different themes in the Passover story. A really important one is migration. Migration is when you move to live somewhere else in another country. The Israelites had just done this. They'd managed to leave Egypt. They'd managed to escape and move somewhere new. Miriam's singing shows us that migration is something to celebrate when people are able to start a better life and find freedom. The people were so happy that they had made this journey, that they had migrated, that they played their timbrels led by Miriam, these musical instruments. Now, migration is still something that happens today, just as it did thousands of years ago in the time of the Torah. And it can still be something to celebrate as people are able to start new and better lives in new countries. So today we are going to make our own instruments, our own timbrels that we can play to celebrate migration. So to make our own timbrels, we are going to start by using paper plates. If you don't have a paper plate, you can cut out a piece of cardboard in roughly the same size and same shape to make it with. If you would like to make your timbrel nice and bright and colourful to make it a happy instrument to celebrate migration, you might want to paint yours just like I have painted mine. I've painted it with all the different colours of the rainbow because I think a rainbow is a really happy thing to look at. It's a very hopeful thing, a very exciting thing. And I think migration can be very hopeful and very exciting too. So I decorated it with all these different colours. I might decorate it even further now. I think it might be look, look really nice if on my timbrel I add some streamers with different colours. So I'm going to have a go at attaching some now. I wonder what you're going to use to decorate your beautiful timbrel. Maybe you could have a look through your recycling and see if there's anything that you could use there. Maybe some different magazines that you could cut up in different colours. I've got lots of different pieces of tissue paper. Maybe you've got some tissue paper that you could use as well. Maybe you also are going to try and use all the different colours of the rainbow when you make your timbrel. I'm going to add some lovely green over here. I think some blue as well. Here's my blue. I'm going to try and match my colours up beautifully. I think some purple would look nice next. And I think I'm going to finish with some yellow. So I'll just stick the purple on. There's my purple. And finally, I have a nice yellow piece to add on. The next thing you're going to need to do, once you have got your beautifully decorated um, decorated timbrel, and you can also decorate the back one as well if you would like, is think what we're going to put in it to make the noise. I have got some rice from my kitchen because I think when rice rattles, it makes really good noise. It sounds a bit like when you shake maracas or when you um, shake a tambourine. You could also use pasta or anything you've got around your house that might make this noise. The next step, having got your beautifully colourful um, paper plate, is turn it upside down. So your beautiful paint and beautiful patterns are on the bottom. And then you're going to tip on top your rice, your pasta, whatever you were using. It's already making a very good sound. I want to make sure all the rice stays in there when I start to play it. So I'm going to take my other paper plate and I'm going to put it on top like this. I then want to glue or sellotape 
all the way around the edges so that none of the rice escapes when I start to play it. So for that, I'm going to need some more sellotape to start sticking the edges. Once you've got the edges stuck down, your timbrel is going to be ready to play. I'm very nearly there. I wonder if you've got some ideas about how you are going to decorate your timbrel and what instruments and um, what um, things you're going to put inside it to make the noise of the instrument. Can you hear it rattling? I think it is pretty much ready. Shall I have a go? Here is my beautiful timbrel with its streamers flying all the different colours that I can play to celebrate, to celebrate what a good and positive thing migration is today, just as it was in the Passover story. I can shake my timbrel to make a really happy noise. I can also bang my timbrel to make a happy noise. I can play it really, really loudly to celebrate. And I can play it really, really softly as well. <laughs> I've had great fun making my timbrel with you today. I hope you have fun designing and creating your own musical instrument, your own timbrel as well. I would like to wish you from all of us at the Jewish Museum, Hug Sameach. Hope you have a very, very happy Passover and do join us again tomorrow for the final one of our Passover series of Museum Mornings. We will see you there. Bye.